Oh, would you look at that? I forgot to plug the mic into the camera, so this week's Sunday vlog audio is completely silent. Jake is gone for one week in California, and I thought I could be a big boy and take care of this vlog myself, like the big boy I am. But instead of proving my sea level status, I instead cement the fact that I'm really good for nothing, and there's a reason why Jake doesn't pay me. So, without further ado, welcome to this week's Silent Sunday Vlog. Sunday started off like any other Sunday does, uh, with me running late to church. Um, I thought I would take this time to tell you guys a little bit more about myself, but since the audio is gone, it seems like that's a sign that you're not supposed to learn anything about me. After getting to church, I lugged the entire keyboard rig into the building. Jake and I have been carting the rig back and forth between the office and church so that I can practice. Um, it's very heavy and nobody tell Jake that I dropped our expensive MIDI keyboard on the ground there. Totally unscripted, totally not scripted at all, didn't do that on purpose. A good Sunday got even better as this humble man opened the door for me like a gentleman. I thought, wow, this day cannot get any better. I hope nothing makes it go sour. You can only imagine my disappointment when the day did turn sour, when the first thing I saw when walking into church was Joel's face. Joel is always really hard on me, and it makes it hard for me to feel like not an intern anymore. I'm a C-level exec, Joel. Please, please be kind to me. Getting stuck in the gear room, guess who was there to save the day? Yes, it was Joel himself. If I was a damsel in distress, he was my Prince Charming that I have been searching for. I asked him if I could take him out to dinner as repayment, and he said absolutely not. I also tried to capture a lot of the witty banter that us volunteers like to do, but since there's no audio, you guys don't get to hear any of that. Like this, when I was air squatting. I'm sure it was a very funny joke. After getting the screen up, I captured Prince Charming working ridiculously hard. I also captured Darwin with a V, our head pastor climbing down from one of the trusses. We often find him up there before service where he goes to clear his head before he preaches. He does not enjoy jokes such as Darwin quit monkeying around up there. It should not be repeated, it is not funny. <laughs> I think it's time that you meet Joey, our specialist cajon player that we fly in from who knows where he sleeps at night. Joey can be a little intense sometimes and he always wears those awful, awful Crocs, but at the end of the day, he is cute as a button. Except for the fact that he eats muffins like this. I know that church is supposed to be an open invitation for all, but no matter how cute Joey may be, I don't think a monster like him should be allowed in the building. It was now time for the service. Everything was in place and ready to go. We had just got a new snake because of what Jake did last week. On stage. Man, on stage is supposed to be a good brand. These things are falling apart. Does one it work star, on stage? One, one star. <laughs> Everything was ready to go. Joey was looking cute as ever. And oh right, Jake was not there this week. Meet his replacements. The Hoopers, who are not basketball players, but instead worship leaders. It was nice not having Jake there for a change. I wish they could be a permanent replacement for him. I 
tried to have Jeremy explain the automation for this week, we decided to forsake Ableton for this set, which is exactly unlike the metaphor for God not forsaking us in our sin. He was a little camera shy, however, so it doesn't matter that the audio is missing. What does matter is that ProPresenter was in charge of all of our automation. I programmed it to send light cues to light key to cue up our stage lights. I think now is as good as time as ever to defend myself. I've been receiving comments regarding the quality of my work. And while I still don't get paid, so I don't care about the content that I'm producing, I did make a promise to one Jerry Baker that this week's vlog will be much smoother. As a Christian, I shouldn't make promises that I can't keep, but I'm embarrassed to say, Mr. Jerry, that I did not keep this promise. I tried to capture Darwin's sermon to prove to Jake that I am in fact a big boy and can operate a camera on my own. But instead, all we get is a nauseating compilation of shaky clips. I apologize for the dizziness in advance. I am working on it. We all have room to grow. It was time to say goodbye to the Hoopers. The acoustic set went really well, and I wish that they could be there every week instead of Jake. If you could hear the audio here, Justin Hooper says something very inspiring along the lines of, you can't crack all your eggs if you crack them all in one basket. After saying goodbye to the Hoopers, we were all a little worried about where Joey was. We hadn't seen him in a very long time. Our anxiety was quelled though when I found him backstage looking cute as ever. To end the day, I wanted to get something inspiring out of Darwin really end the vlog on a nice note. I was disappointed, however, when Darwin told me to get back to work and that no, he will still not be paying me. Makes sense, considering his close proximity to Joel. I do believe that Darwin is jealous of the date that Joel and I are not going on. I mean, look at this face. What's not to love about looking at this face? It is so lickable. I, <laughs> I mean, likable. on a productive note considering how much I vlogged instead of actually working, I decided that the best thing to do for my shaky hands was to get more coffee. This man made my dreams come true as he took my currency in exchange for goods. If you look really closely at my hands, you can see them violently shaking as I drink this coffee. I think it has to do with the stress of Jake being gone. I miss him so, so much. Oh, and would you look at that? I forgot to plug the mic into the camera for the outro. I definitely did not script this. This is not a bit. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a comment and maybe even leave a like, depending on how much you liked it. I guess the moral of the story is I miss Jake, and things just don't run as smoothly when he's not around. Stay, stay classy, church front. <laughs>